Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, it's my pleasure to bring you a detailed, in-depth look at the all-new 2014 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG S. And this is going to be a detailed, in-depth view of the E63. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of the interior, as well as exterior. And before we begin, I'd like to give a special shout out and big thanks to both Mercedes-Benz of South Charlotte, located in Pineville, North Carolina, for inviting me out to come down, as well as the owner who recently took delivery of the E63 featured today, both for the drive shots and allowing me to film this in-depth review. Now the E63 comes standard with an integrated smart key access system, so you can wirelessly lock and unlock the vehicle. All you have to do is just keep the key fob in your pocket, and locate the touch sensors on all four of the door handles. To lock, just tap this little depressed portion here. Then after waiting a second, just grab the handle. There's a touch sensor behind it, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. The exterior color is known as obsidian black, featuring a full premium black Napa leather interior with white color accent stitching. And along with that smart key system, the vehicle also comes standard with remote and push button ignition. All you have to do to start is put your foot on the brake and hit the dash mounted aluminum button to start. Beautiful sound from that twin turbo V8. The E63 AMG features speed-sensitive electromechanical rack and pinion power steering and a unique AMG-specific three-spoke full leather and Alcantara wrap steering wheel. Your Alcantara comes up across the sides here with your soft leather and flat bottom design up top and down below. White color accent stitching and polished aluminum highlighting the airbag cover and your multifunction controls. Propelling the vehicle forward is a standard AMG speed shift dual clutch 7 speed automated manual transmission controlled via this little controller in the middle. To activate drive, just put your foot on the brake and tip it back. Half a click up for neutral, all the way up for reverse. Now, what else is pretty cool is that the vehicle features stereoscopic cameras located all the way around so you can get full 360 degree views or top down views. By using the little command controller in the middle, you can scroll through the different options. Just click up top. You can go between the sides, top view of the front, as well as a front view camera. And activating full screen. Change the brightness. Very nifty system overall. And to put it back into park, just hit the P in front. To the left of the shift housing is your transmission controller here for Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and full manual modes. Comfort is the smoothest shifting of the vehicle. Put it in sport mode, it increases shift times by about 30%. Sport Plus, as well as manual mode, have lightning fast 100 millisecond shifts for the most performance. You can also shift the vehicle manually via the aluminum panels mounted behind the steering wheel. Beautifully accented in aluminum and leather with the embossed AMG crest located up top. And so we're going to flip on the automatic LED headlamps, rear fog lamps, as well as the hazards. Naturally, all four windows are fully automatic. And we'll check out the exterior, shall we? The interior of the vehicle will also chime a few times, letting you know it's lost detection of the proximity key fob. It doesn't feel like it's been that long since the all new W213 generation Mercedes E-Class first hit the market for the 2010 model year. But keeping steadfast with mid-cycle model updates, 
The 2014 E-Class lineup receives a thorough styling makeover inside and out to soften the lines and give it a much more athletic profile. Not to mention, AMG cars get a substantial power bump that's now routed through all four wheels via Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive system. For the first time, 4MATIC is the standard drivetrain for the E63 and the new E63S, allowing for superior all-weather traction and increased grip while still allowing for characteristic rear-wheel drive behavior with its heavier rear bias. In its default setting, the all-wheel drive system splits torque 33% in front and 67% out back, but if the situation deems necessary, it can transmit up to 70% of the available torque up to the front or the rear. All in all, the system adds about 154 pounds to the vehicle, but with all the extra power, especially in the AMG S model, that's hardly an issue. As far as a quick recap, the W213 was a big departure for the E-Class when it was first introduced, in both styling and behavior. The car was all new from the sheet metal down to an all new steel unibody structure that gave it an increase in torsional rigidity by 30%. It carried on the quad headlamps up front, but they were more squared off than the previous oval lamps. From the front to the rear flanks, the body also saw more creases and sharp edges than ever before. This gave the E-Class a new identity, it was more assertive, modern and sleek rather than traditional and stately. It also began incorporating more aluminum. The hood, fenders, doors, radiator support, and steering column are aluminum, while the trunk is composite. This helps save a little bit of weight, especially with the addition of all-wheel drive. And even though it's primarily a steel-intensive vehicle, 72% of the panels are high-strength tensile steel, stronger and lighter than standard materials. Dimensions didn't change much, aside from an increase of 0.7 inches in both length and wheelbase. Width was comparable with the previous gen. A more upright greenhouse also gave marginal improvements in interior space. 2014 takes everything a little bit further by softening the exterior just a bit while keeping with the muscular stance. Headlamps are slimmer, one-piece units that feature visual separation with LED accents inside the optional LED headlamps. The fascias look more elegant and refined while the rear is also smoothed out a bit. AMG cars, of course, wear more aggressive accessories. Up front, a redesigned fascia, which Mercedes refers to as an A-wing design, features color-keyed accents with a slender piece of chrome brightwork. The grille is more pronounced with dual center crossbars that can be also had with an illuminating star, and blended into full adaptive LED headlamps and flared-out fenders. The chrome accent pieces trail the more pronounced side sills as well as the rear fascia that features a blacked-out diffuser and quad-polished AMG exhaust tips. For an additional cost, there's also a carbon fiber exterior kit that replaces the fascia chrome, side cell accents, and mirror caps with genuine carbon fiber, while the night styling pack will black everything out. The revised AMG E-Class came out for 2012 and debuted a smaller displacement twin turbocharged V8 over the naturally aspirated 6.2 liter. Overall, it's a more efficient power plant and packs a greater punch. 2014 E63s in general see a big power bump, but with the new S models it gets an even higher dose of muscle. Formerly known as the optional performance package, the E63S is its own model now with a familiar set of upgrades over the standard E63, including a limited slip differential. Along with 4MATIC, the E63 also features torque vectoring to enhance cornering traction with the wheels that have the most grip. This E63S features an optional set of staggered 19-inch satin black 10-spoke aluminum alloy wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 high-performance summer tires measuring 255-35 in front and 285-30 in the rear. Brakes consist of large cross-drilled vented discs, two-piece in front, one-piece out back that measure 14.2 by 1.4 inches in front, and six-piston fixed red calipers on S models with 14.2 by 1 inches in the rear with four-piston fixed calipers. This setup brings the E63S to a stop at a quite short 107 feet. As far as the suspension, it's fully independent, tuned by AMG with McPherson struts in front and coil springs, with a multi-link rear and pneumatic springs, adaptive dampers, and stability bars. Overall length is 182.1 inches, with a width including the mirrors of 81.5 inches and a height of 56.8 inches. Total curb weight is around 4,387 pounds. So let's go and pop the hood. The E63 comes with a fantastic combination of power and refinement in the form of an all-aluminum, handcrafted, twin-turbocharged, direct-injected 5.5-liter V8 that now comes standard with a fuel-saving auto-start-stop feature. 
Standard E63s have a power increase to 550 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque over last year's 518 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. S models also turn up the heat even more with an increase in turbo boost from 13 to 14.5 psi. The resulting horsepower is 577 at 5500 rpm and 590 pound-feet of torque between 1750 and 5000 rpm. This translates to 0 to 60 times of 3.6 seconds and quarter mile times of around 12.1 seconds at 117.8 miles per hour. Top speed is a factory claimed 186 miles an hour. The efficient power plant also escapes the gas guzzler tax. With a 21.1 gallon tank on required premium fuel, expect to range between 16 city and 23 on the highway. The E-Class boasts a well-appointed interior with excellent build quality. All of the panels feature soft touch material or hand stitched leather with accent stitching. Available in five different color schemes including two tones or three schemes for AMG cars. You can also choose between three different wood veneers like the black ash wood we have here or carbon fiber for AMG models. Going across the doors you have all of your power accessories, power windows, locks and mirrors. Your trunk release is located down below with a little bit of storage as well as all of your seating adjustments also located on the door next to the handle. You have three-person memory for both the driver and passenger seat, as well as similar adjustments for both sides. In the E63, you have unique sport leather bucket seats with a good amount of lateral grip. They're nice and supportive with great attention to detail. The white accent stitching across matches the white seat belts for a cool visual effect. They're also perforated, coming up across the middle for the heating and ventilated function of the seats. Your array of side airbags, as well as adjustable seat belts and headrests. Up in the top, unique to the AMG cars is the crest embossed in the top of the headrest. And like I said, all of your power adjustments are located on the door. The panel on the inside of the seat controls the thigh support, active massage, as well as the various lumbar settings and side bolstering adjustment. As you come across the threshold, unique illuminated AMG door sill plaques, logoed floor mats, aluminum sport pedals, there's also a standard driver knee airbag for a bit of increased safety. Full power tilt telescoping steering wheel, as well as the dash completely wrapped out of leather and the black ash wood trim. Nicely finished off with a full Alcantara headliner and a dual pane glass sunroof. So we're going to see if she sounds. So we're going to shut her up. Solid door panels as you would expect.
the E63 pretty much comes standard with all of the available options you would find for the E-Class, including a premium Harman Kardon Logic 7 surround sound system, Dolby Digital certified with 5.1 channels. It's 14 speakers putting out 610 watts of musical power, all fed through the Mercedes command system, an LCD mobile media navigation telemetric interface, controlled via this little controller right here, and I'll go through all of that in just a little bit. And not to mention standard satellite radio as well as HD radio. Side curtain airbags, your Alcantara A pillars, as well as Alcantara visors, little card holder. Auto dimming view view mirror with integrated garage home link located down below. And in the top stack, you have your hands free Bluetooth microphone, interior illumination, as well as reading lamps, LED located underneath the mirror. Your Mercedes Embrace SOS emergency roadside assistance system, as well as controls for your fully automatic sunroof and power sunshades. Little wind deflector will automatically pop up. And then press it again to bring the sunshades. Now in the past few years, Mercedes has really stepped their game up with their command infotainment system. Like I said before, it's all controlled via this little aluminum knob located in the center console. Click up, down, left, and right, push down for enter, and then scrolling back and forth. There's a clear, as well as a back button adjacent to it. It's pretty simple to use overall. For example, we're on our main audio screen right now where we're having our hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio. If you click the wheel up, you'll see everything highlight, and then down, and then one more goes to the bottom menu. So if we click on audio, we can go up to our different options. So AM, FM, standard satellite radio, CD, memory card or um, SD card input, Music Register is actually the built-in hard drive for the system. The system has around 80 total gigabytes of storage, and most of that's used for the navigation for storing addresses and points of interest, but as far as music and MP3 files, there's 10 gigabytes of storage, so you can load that up on there, kind of like a big integrated iPod. USB, iPod auxiliary integration, and the hands-free Bluetooth streaming of audio, and just other MP3 players. In the Bluetooth screen, you can go down below and pause or play the audio, change the volume as well as shuffling the tracks, change the different media options, as well as adjust your sound, including your surround sound and other equalizers. Now if we go up to your standard radio, you can scroll between the stations in the middle, select your preset stations down below, Bring up HD radio as well as manually enter, song information, AM, FM, satellite radio as well as the vehicle's weather band. At Monroe, it was cloudy. The temperature was 63 degrees. At Park Hill, it was cloudy. And then you also your sound adjustments down below just like it was in the Bluetooth screen. Now all of these commands pretty much go the same for satellite radio as well. Now if we go on up to navigation, your map, which you can bring full screen by just clicking the wheel to the middle. Push down again to bring the menus back. Your destination located at the bottom where you can input addresses as well as points of interest, favorite addresses, your current position, real-time traffic updates. Up top, your hands-free Bluetooth telephone will automatically ask you to pair it, and also the Bluetooth streaming of audio will be set up through that as well. The system's also DVD compatible, so if you put DVDs into the drive, you can also play them through the system. The system screen shows up a digitalized analog clock where you can adjust your time. System settings, turn the display off. The system will also read out text messages for you as well, making the driving a little bit safer. And activating the 360 degree camera like I showed you earlier. Now all the way to the far right, the little world icon is a pretty neat little system. You have serious real-time weather updates, 
with extended forecasts as well as a real-time weather map. There's also certain apps that you can store with the system. I know the new Embrace system, you can actually control a lot of the vehicle's functions from your smartphone. Pretty neat integration. Streaming of internet radio, and you're actually able to access the internet from the vehicle. Owner's manual is also stored on the system. There's a whole lot of intricate features to this system. It's actually quite neat. Like I said, once you play with the little wheel for a little bit, you definitely get the hang of it. Much improved over some of the previous generations, and that's just a basic overview of the um, multimedia infotainment system in the new E63. As we come down the center console, the middle air vents are accented in aluminum with a little elegant analog clock. A dialing pad that also corresponds to your preset stations, as well as manual activation of the different functions up here from radio to nav, um, as well as your telephone, and simple to use buttons right here if you didn't want to use the command button. Off hook and on hook buttons for your telephone, and dash CD player. Down below that, you have some aluminum knobs across the center that correspond to your heated and ventilated seats for both the driver and passenger. Three stage, nice and simple. Power rear sunshade. Eco mode with the vehicle's cylinder deactivation system to make it turn into a V4 cruising speed and thus boost fuel economy a bit. Turning off your parking sensors, your hazards like I showed you earlier, and this button right here that will automatically lower rear headrests that are raised for better visibility. The vehicle also comes standard with an electronic dual zone automatic climate control with your fan speed in the middle, different zones, and temperature adjustments on either side. Front and rear defrost, one touch automatic, and recycling through an air filtration system. The center console is almost entirely accented by high gloss black piano veneer with a little bit of aluminum trim. Leather lined center console with the color accent stitching that you can open from either side. There's two different buttons. You have your iPod input as well as USB integration, a little bit of storage, and it's also lined in felt. Two cup holders hidden right here that are also adjustable. It's also a little lighter and ashtray with a 12 volt power outlet. Traction control, AMG mode, as well as the um, adaptive dampers and the transmission shift control, like I mentioned earlier. Now, as far as the steering wheel, on the right hand side is your radio controls as well as your hands free telephone and voice commands. Help. For which function do you want help? Change CD. Select track, search for music, all CD changer functions, or voice controllable devices. Cancel. Cancel. So it's a pretty simple system to use, a pleasant voice, and it walks you through the commands by displaying it on your screen. Now with all the variety of safety features on the, on the E-Class, like lane keeping assist, adaptive cruise, um, the driver alert system, blind spot monitoring, all, all sorts of things, a lot of that is controlled through the driver information system located in the LCD screen in the middle of the speedometer cluster. Your driver info system is controlled by this little controller stack on this left hand side of the steering wheel. So if you click left and right, it'll go through the main menus and you can also access like your navigation as well as um, media options like you would with the command system. The driver assist, click up and down, go through the different sub menus, shows the different options that you can activate. service messages, vehicle settings, including all of your personalizable options, and for those track days or some other vehicle data, as well as a lap timer with the launch control system. Your automatic wipers and turn signals, as well as your cruise control with the adaptive cruise function located down below there. Wonderful attention to detail across the dash with the integrated stitching in the leather. There's also a little LED indicator up in front of the dash that'll let you know via your parking sensors when you're approaching a close object. Alrighty. Gonna shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. The back seat of the E63 evokes the same sport performance oriented theme as the front. Of course, just as luxurious with plenty of leather padding across the door panels, the high gloss wood veneers, and the color accent stitching. The seatbelts are also the color accent, just like the front. 
They also have the ability to fold for more cargo space in the back, and I'll show that in just a second. Now the back seats are actually really comfortable as well. They have the Nappa leather, so it feels really nice. The bolstering is nice and soft. It even has a little bit of um, integrated lumbar into the seat right here, which makes it a little bit more comfortable for longer journeys. Here's a coat hook here, coat hook there, all the Alcantara headliner. The back sunroof actually doesn't move, it's just fixed glass, whereas um, the front moves like I showed you earlier. But there is a sunshade right here, which I'll show in just a second. Grip handle up top, illumination, pretty standard. The armrest is also pretty good size, also wrapped in leather, with a little bit of storage and two cup holders that fold out. But overall, getting in and out is also a cinch. A nice wide opening with the softer bolster right here help getting in and out a little bit easier. Doors close with a nice solid reassuring thud. The coat hooks as well as grip handle. Storage behind the seat. Another little storage tray there with a 12 volt power outlet. Side curtain airbags for the rear, of course. The rear sunshade, as well as your rear illumination. Alrighty. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? The trunk deck lid is fully powered on the E63 as standard. It's a nice wide opening with a deep trunk well. All in all, it's around 15.9 cubic feet of cargo space. On either side, there's some storage nets and a power outlet to the right. You can also fold down the rear seats by pulling on those little handles to open up more cargo space up to the front. Same power adjustments as well as the memory settings for the passenger seat that you find on the drivers. The aluminum door sill entry guard and four way power lumbar. The leather accenting come across the airbag cover here. Beautiful wood accenting. Padded glove box, it's also lockable with a two tier glove box lined in felt. And there's also a little air vent up here that you can open up and allow cool air from the air conditioning to come in to keep items chilled. The E63 AMG is a wonderful example of a high performance executive sedan. When raw power meets handling refinement in a comfortable luxury car, now with the added convenience of all-weather driving thanks to the standard 4MATIC system, it's now able to be enjoyed all year long in a wide variety of climates. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the all-new 2014 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG S. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.